Thank you, Mr. Mayor, Councillors. I'd like to know what plans there are to monitor the gun show, whether there'll be a police presence there to ensure that no felons and undesirables are buying guns to smuggle to Mexico, for example. Chief, do you think you could uh, respond to that? There's a gun show coming up, what, in a week or so at the convention center? Yes, at the convention center, February 18th to 20th. Okay. Mr. Mayor, primarily gun shows are something that's not very well regulated. Uh, you look at, they're regulated by the feds, by the ATF. Generally, what gun buyers or gun sellers will do is when they sell a gun at their store, for example, they'll do the background check there. When they go to a gun show, they don't do a background check not, not everyone is required to do a background check. Some of the major gun dealers do have the backgrounds done at the show like they were in the store, but they're not required to. So, for example, if you were to sell a weapon at a gun show, you're not required to do the background check. So there's very little that we as local law enforcement can do in regard to this matter. We will have some officers available to do walkthroughs to enhance the visibility, but we won't be doing the background checks there. And we utilize NCIC, which is given to us by the FBI, and that would not even be an appropriate use of the NCIC as well, and we would risk losing our NCIC status from the FBI if we utilized it for that purpose. So we will have people there and available, call volume dependent, obviously, and we've uh, recommended that they do hire some private security to attend those to ensure that it's a, it's a safe show for everyone. Thank you, Chief. And let me just ask our attorney uh, something. Pete, uh, hearing what the Chief had to say, is that something that the city in the future, I know it's probably too late to do it for this gun show, could we pass an ordinance at any gun show here in the city of Las Cruces mandate that, or is that a state law or a federal law? That, you know, I don't know if we can go that, that far reaching to require them to do that. If we could, great, but your opinions on that and should that be handled from our state legislature or our, or our Congress, U.S. Uh, Congress? Um, Mr. Mayor and members of the council, the uh, guns in the city, basically any attempt to control the right to bear arms by a city is unconstitutional by the New Mexico Constitution. And we have that case very recently, two or three years ago, of the Handgun Carry Act that was made where cities could option in and option out and the Supreme Court declared it unconstitutional. So municipalities are basically at the low end of the totem pole when it comes to trying to control the right to bear arms. So I would say it's not even a state problem. Well, I guess where I'm coming from is if they're selling it, they, obviously these people who are selling these weapons uh, should at the very minimum be charging a sales tax, right? So if they're, if they, they, I mean, you can't just sell it without if, if we require them to charge a sales tax, I guess my question is why can't we also require that, that, um, that a background check be met? I'm not saying that they can't sell it, but as was mentioned here earlier, it's uh, difficult because these people, uh, they recognize this is a loophole in, in, um, in, in you might have people who, who normally otherwise shouldn't be handling a weapon now purchasing it and um, May I say something? Well, hold on just a second, Mayor Pro Tem. Let me just have Pete, if he wants to just respond to that. I, that that's where I was going to go. Uh, Mr. Mayor, the, the problem is the Constitution says that the city has no right or power or authority to control the right to bear arms or the possession of arms, including sales. So I... I I don't know how to even say go around. Okay. I got you. Yes, Mayor Pro Tem. Thank you, Pete. Okay, so I just wanted to point out that um, some action has occurred at the state levels. At this point, 17 states have passed legislation saying that all, all sales have, are subject to background checks at gun shows. So maybe the only place we can look for help here is at the state level. Well, of course, we always could do it ourselves and then let someone challenge it on us, let them challenge us on it. And all we're just saying is just do a background check. We're not saying you can't buy it. 
Yeah, I couldn't find any information about cities passing, but uh, but I'll keep looking. But um, I only know at the state level that 17 states have passed legislation to fill that loophole in the federal law. Okay. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. Thank you, Pete. Thanks, Thanks Chief. Chief. Count, uh, Councilor Small. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's the this is to benefit the Lions Club. Uh, they they are one of the the main uh, groups in town, a local group that puts on a gun show every year that's well attended, very well patrolled. Having attended myself, and I think um, it, the money goes directly back into uh, eye care for children, and it would be it would behoove us to to start really working with the with the Lions Club and the one who's putting on this show. Again, I. I think they do a very good job. I think they've done it for a number of years. They've decided to use the convention center. So it, it, the very first step and the very first stop is to touch base with them because um, in years past, again, I, I want to emphasize that, that they have put on a very good show and a safe show. And, um, uh, you know, they're members of our community. So let's start by, by touching base with them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Small. Mayor Pro Tem? Yes, I just want to say I agree with Councillor Small, and there are quite a few examples of uh, gun shows where the, gun, the people running the gun shows themselves have been willing to require background checks, so that's a very good suggestion. Maybe we should, maybe the, our uh, police department should, should talk to the Lions Club. Okay, thank you.